Hey guys, Steve here from the Canadian Cell Hunter. Three or four times this last week, I've been asked about aiders, cable aiders, amstill aiders, um, webbing aiders, and I'm gonna show you something today that I actually do more than using an aider, and that's using these hammock straps. What I do is I carry them just in my pocket. They come up real small. I have a couple castration bands. You can just get those in the local feed store. A piece of paracord attached to a little clip on my belt. Today I'm in the dray. Put it on your foot slide those down and now it's gonna stay on your foot you don't have to worry about reaching in the ground my dog's playing with the ducks so I'm gonna show you on like the hawk helium which is probably the most common stick that people have or even kind of doing a one stick setup with um, the uh, scout on a stick now this tree is dead don't climb dead trees I'm not going up there I'm only going to like six feet so I feel okay but just disclaimer don't climb high in dead trees. All right, so come to the tree, put my lineman's belt around it, I have my stick all set up. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take one of the loops, the webbing, I'm just gonna put it on the step just like that. Okay, and then I go, I step up, move my lineman's belt, comes up with a little tension, I grab the other side, I move it up a little bit in this case. I'm just going to take that top loop. I don't know if you can see here. You can see at the angle from where you are. He's trying to avoid the mosquitoes. And I'm going to put it up on the top step there again. So now I've taken a step. I move my lineman felt up with me. I step up. I can take this here. Now, I could probably reach that next step if I wanted to. But let's say, you know, it's dark. I'm not sure. I'll just move this and I'll go like halfway. So like there, there's multiple loops, fit over the top, then again I'm dug in, and then I'm on the step here, I just take that strap, loop over that little hook thing, and it's good, I step up, again moving my lineman's belt, as I do, I can just grab that, and again just drop it over there, and now I've climbed there, and I've never had to reach for a step, I've never had to, um, look down uh, at my, what my feet are doing just all good going down same thing I can just reach this off put it down there I'm gonna put the top one on the top step oh, right there I'm gonna lower myself down and I'm just waiting for the tension to come so see there that was a bit of a, a reach probably shouldn't have done the top step there I should have gone midway down so then I'm good reach off my clip and I'm going to grab again one of the loops on the bottom. So rather than looking at where my feet are going, I'm just looking at where my hands are. And now I'm in there again. Move my lineman belt a little bit. Again, do this. Slide it down. And so it's super, super easy to do. And I'm always looking right here at my hands. All right. So that's going down to the ground here. It's an option that is really fairly inexpensive, cheap. If I take this off now, take the hot helium off, lower it down here. All right, so now let's say I want to be one sticking and today I'm just going to keep with my um, lineman's rope. I'm not going to put a tether up there, but you get the idea. So I have the same hammock strap, just like I did before. Um, it's a bit of a reach to this height. If I wanted, I could make this rather then be paracord. I could do like a continuous loop of am steel. But either way, I'm gonna reach up here. Again, it's gonna be a bit of a reach to get to that first step, but that's fine. I have it there, I grab on, and I pull myself up. Now, I can just reach over, grab this here, and I'm gonna choke up. I'm gonna be grabbing probably the third loop here in this particular one. I put that on the bottom step. I step up into here. Again, I can move my lineman's belt. It would be a tether normally. Um, but my next step, I can either put on the top or I can reach down here and grab like the fourth loop. Okay, and be like that there. And then unhook this, put it on there, and then step on that bottom step to come back up. I can hit it with a easier with a tether. So it's possible. I probably prefer, would prefer an aider on one sticking, but when I use multiple sticks, um, I can get real high. I can get 
with two sticks and a pot for him, I can get over to him quite easily. So then going down, same thing. Again, make sure you're safe, your tether is to the right length. Finding that spot down, okay? And I would reach, be a little more challenging on a one stick setup to reach that one down. But once you get it, then you just grab on here and lower yourself down. I'm always, if I have one stick, I repel. Repelling is the way to go. So I know I'm going down, I just hook that over there. Grab on this and lower myself down to the ground. Okay. Personally, not ideal for one sticking, but works really, really well when using a uh, hockey arm, or if your one stick was a bit longer than this, it was a really short thing. If I had a one stick that went down to here, then it would be a good option. So hopefully that helps some of you. Have a good one.